Are you someone that owns an altcoin? Well, you're gonna wanna pay attention to this video and it couldn't come at a more important time in our journey for this bull run because what I'm gonna share with you today was something I realized 36 hours ago from the recording of this video that has completely changed the perspective I have on my portfolio. I've now decided to move away from a 30X down to a 20X and do some really important changes that you can also apply to your own portfolio. And why this has come at such an important time is because the Bitcoin halving is two months away. And if you apply what I'm going to tell you today, like I have done to my own portfolio, you're likely going to exit the bull run a lot safer and you're going to, of course, be a lot less stressed in the next two years. I actually made a video for my private community when I first realized this yesterday and instantly I had a weight off my shoulders. I felt so much easier attacking the market and finding the altcoins that I needed to buy to achieve my goal. Now guys, of course, before we start, the main thing is to teach you something new today. And if you do learn something new, support my work by dropping a like on the video. It really helps me out a lot. But importantly, subscribe so that you can achieve your crypto goals. Now, I want you to trust me here when I say I want you to pay attention throughout the whole video. The chances are that most people that actually pay attention here are going to go, oh crap, I have to apply this to my portfolio straight away. And it's a good thing you will because effectively what we're trying to do here is move our goalposts down, okay? We're not trying to make less money out of the market. We're trying to take, and as you'll see in a minute here, two things, two variables that I hadn't considered before 36 hours ago. We're going to take them into consideration, which will allow us to bring our goalposts down, still achieving the same goal. For me, it's still going to achieve my goal of $3 million out of the market this cycle, but it's going to allow us to do that in the safest way possible. And, you know, whether you actually go ahead and do that and apply it, or whether you're someone who doesn't do that straight away, at least in the back of your mind in the next two months, 12 months, 15 months, whenever, if a situation comes up and you remember what I said in this video, again, knowledge is power. You're going to be able to capitalize and make the right judgment. Now I know we're kind of talking a little bit in riddles. So let me explain what I'm talking about. Listen to this and apply it to yourself. So for me, I have $100,000 or a big chunk of cash I can put into the market. You know, for someone out there, you might have $10,000, $1,000. Maybe some of you guys have $1 million. I know I definitely have some of you watching this video that are big players, right? And so in this case, you're always looking to materialize your end results. So for me, I'm looking to buy uh, four properties because the reason I come to that conclusion was based on this, right? I need four properties bought outright to have $80,000 in pure profit or net every single year. So I can just kick back, relax and have $80,000 again profit in my pocket and also have about $200,000 invested into crypto for the next cycle. So for me, by the end of 2025, I need to walk away with $2.8 million, which of course is a 28x from my investment of $100,000. That's pretty simple. Most of you channel you know, viewers will know that this is my personal targets and I keep it 100% real with you. And again, it's one of the reasons why I'll leave the link to this document right here with everything you'll see today in my free Discord link down below under the Myro board section, you will see this here. If I can pretty much reduce, if I can make the $2.8 million, but reduce the multiples I need, wouldn't that be bloody fantastic, right? If I, let's say, only need a 20X rather than 28X, that affords me the ability to buy altcoins even at today's prices that have pumped that are a lot safer than you know me having to go find you know mid caps or small caps that might achieve my goal for you that might mean instead of buying micro caps in the 100 million range you might be able to now go and buy projects at a billion dollar valuation so here's where i can kind of come to that conclusion there's two things i neglected to apply to my own portfolio. I knew about them and they're so obvious when you look at these in a second here, but I just didn't apply it. I didn't do the math. And this is a massive fatal flaw that part of the reason why you guys subscribe to me is because I punch the numbers and I show you the facts. And in this case, we're punching numbers, look at the facts. No one does this, right? And it's always a surprising thing when we do this. Number one is dollar cost averaging, right? So that $100,000 I had in the back of my mind to 28X, I never considered, hey, what happens if I just put more money in the market based on the income I make? And so there's some differences in this case, right? So if I just put in an extra $30,000, I reduce my 28X, 
down to 22x. And that might seem insignificant, but let me tell you every multiple counts because what that basically means is instead of me looking for, let's just say 100 bucks on an altcoin, right at a 28x, for example, I can now look for a 80x. That's a massive difference, massive, massive difference. Obviously that's not exact, but that's sort of what I'm sort of saying here. And what happens if I, over the next, not just 12 months, let's just say, you know, 15, 18 months, put in an extra $50,000. Well, it's a 19X. We've now broken beneath a 20X, which as you all know, for a lot of the projects out there is very, very possible at these pr prices today. But what about if I put an extra $70,000 in well, it's down 16X. And you guys get the idea at this point, right? All we're doing is putting more money into the market and we're getting our result. And this again is so simple. You're probably thinking to yourself, no BS crypto, that's pretty damn obvious, okay? And it is. But let me ask you the question, did you account for this? Did you account to dollar cost average and what that might do to your multiples? Now, probably not. Here's something that I know a lot of you are going to ask in the comments. How do we actually go about applying this? So all you really have to consider in this case is the overall amount of money you'll look to put into the market. And that might be hard, right? You might be someone who earns, you know, $2,000 a month or whatever it might be okay and so you're trying to work out well how much can i dedicate towards investing in crypto so that's why it's very important to have your finances in check when you're investing in crypto you've got to know how much expendable income you can dollar cost average into your coins with per week ideally a weekly time frame is the best and that'll ideally give you a point in which you're looking at the next one and a half years and thinking to yourself okay so my main pot of cash again in my example here is a hundred thousand dollars right and I've got 10 old coins. Here's 10 old coins. And you might think, okay, well, I can realistically put in an extra $30,000 over the next 12 months. I'd probably narrow it down to 12 months just to be safe. And so what I would do in this case is work out the math behind $130,000, which again, mind you, if we're using my example from above, it's a 22X. And so, you know, we're looking for it now 22X to achieve our goal, not over here at a 28X. And what this will kind of visualize like, because yes, you're probably thinking again, like Kyron, there's not going to be a situation where all of my favorite altcoins here, my, my 10 chosen projects, they aren't going to stay at the level that I can, you know, put in the extra, well, let's just say we, you know, put a nice even split of 10% into all of our projects over here. Okay. So we're investing basically $10,000 in this example into all of them just to keep things nice and easy, there's no way that we can put in a nice even 30% on top uh, across the bull run because, you know, some of these coins are going to be past the point that we can look to have hit our, you know, 22x. And you're correct. And that is why it's very important. That's what I've kind of tried to visualize here, that you're going to have to likely buy new altcoins. So in the example of, let's say with these eight coins over here from Algorand all the way to Hedera and everything in between, we managed to luckily get our most of our positions. And let's just say one by one, we filled up. Okay, so the next month we fill up Algorand. Then in, let's just say April, we fill up our AVAX position. The month after, our compound position, so on. Uh-oh, but we get to a point where ICP and Matic, well, they're too far gone when it comes time to fill those positions. So we have to, of course, think about it right? We're trying to achieve a goal of a 22X. We have $130,000 at the end of the day we're investing. So what you want to do in this case is if your old coins you're looking to actually continue to buy, don't have that opportunity on a dip or a crash or whatever you might, you know, wherever you might be in the market, you're going to have to buy new old coins. Now you might have an old coin like Manta Network that you might have on the open market. It's a new project you can buy in. It might be one of the ones you managed to pick up in the Beyond the Vault, of course, my private community where you have access to new coins, any which way, launch pads, whatever. Okay. And you'll be able to buy these coins that will afford you the ability to to achieve our 22x and that's kind of what you have to do but it all comes back down to working out how much overall money you can invest in the market and not how much money you can invest today that can be a bit of a tricky thing and i get it. some of you probably rolling your eyes thinking to yourselves that's going to be a bit hard for me to do but that always comes back down to you knowing how much exp expendable income you have to invest in crypto and how much you know cash you might have on the side as well and so there's two distinct situations that we can really benefit from this okay the first is increasing our average buy-in whilst keeping the sell level the same. So of course, the fact is that we can just simply begin to increase our the level in which we buy at. So for example, you guys might know, with Pith Network, I've been looking to hold off to buy in a Pith for about 20 cents and I recently increased it to 30 cents, but now 
given I'm looking for, let's just say again, a 22X, I can begin to buy at 50 cents or even at 60 cents, the current price. Same with Manta Network over here, right? Excuse all the previous drawings I recently had over here. But you know, I can look at a price of $3 rather than $2.20, which is what it actually was before. So it affords you the ability to increase the level which you begin buying at. And of course, in that case, you'll have to keep the sell level the same. So as you can see here, looking for a 30X for Manta, you'd have to look to get into 2020 or less, which is highly unlikely. However, if we look to consider the fact of we're now investing an extra $30,000 or well, now to 21X or you know even more money overall, if you can afford to put in, again, keeping things nice and even along the line here, you might be able to put an extra six grand per project, which means you can then buy at $3.50. And again, Manta Network is definitely at you know, well and truly under that level right now. So again, that's one situation. The other situation is instead of looking to increase the average buy-in level, right? So instead of doing this, let's say we don't do that. Let's just say we decide to find a level like in Manta uh, Network, maybe I should use over here. And let's say, realistically speaking, Manta Network could still hit the price of $2.20, right? Again, for, I wouldn't actually look at this for Manta Network, but let's just say hypothetically, well, let's keep that the same. And in the other situation, what this also affords us is the opportunity to just simply sell at a lower price. That's it, right? It makes total sense. And the benefit of this is that, of course, you pretty much can sell on an average lower, which means it's much safer, point blank, period, right? The lower you sell, the easier it is to, to achieve, and that means it's safer. And so now we've taken this as one of those two things I'm talking about. Now, the second thing here doesn't build off that first one we just spoke about. It doesn't build off dollar cost averaging. This is a completely different thing that will allow you to do basically two of those same things as well. And if you pair these two, it is going to be extremely powerful. You'll be able to pretty well sell well beneath what you initially thought you had to before. And that is staking your tokens. This is something I've spoken about a few times on the channel. People don't like to listen to it. People just seem to make excuses as to the reasons why they don't want to stake. Yes, there is an additional level of risk, whether you stake directly on the network. I would never recommend staking by third parties or doesn't matter where you basically stake, whatever happens, right? You're increasing your risk. Anything can really happen. You're interacting with a decentralized contract in some way. But there is, of course, the benefits of two things. One, you can reduce your average sell level, similar to what we had over here in this situation. And also it can just give you more returns. And what that really means is of course, that you can just make more out of the market. All right, so let's run through these two very, very quickly here. So what does it mean to reduce your average sell level? Well, in this example over here, we have 4,545 tokens and that math, and the reason why I come to that crazy weird number of tokens was because in the same example of man to network, let's say we spent $10,000 today at a price of $2.20 per token. That's the amount of tokens we will acquire. And so your expectation, for example, might be a 30X, like in the initial example. For me personally, you know, uh, if Manta fell to us 20, I'd have to look for a price of 66 bucks to achieve my revenue or my 30X, right? My $300,000. But what happens if we actually stake in this case, and Manta allows you to stake for about 13% year on year through Bifrost, and we compound monthly, compounding monthly doesn't really change things much. You don't really need to. Uh, in this case, we actually only have to find a price of $55 because we acquire 866 more tokens over the course of the next one and a half years, which means we are pretty much selling 17% lower, which means it's of course cheaper and safer. So we're still getting our $300,000 out, but we're pretty much again reducing that sell level, which is again safer. And that's pretty much as simple as it is. When you get more tokens passively from staking, while those tokens might be a couple dollars every month, again, in the bull run, it works out to be a lot more, which means you pretty much achieve your goal of the $300,000 at a lower price. Now, in the same situation over here, talking about just gaining more tokens, well, what happens if you don't sell lower, right? You don't take these tokens and still get your $300,000 out at a lower level. What happens if you just sell at the same level and take the extra tokens as profit, even more profit, all right? And in this case, you'd pretty much generate an extra $58,000. So like I said, you know, while you might acquire a couple dollars here or there every month, you know, I, I've actually had people in the comments sections of these videos say, Kyron, why are you talking about, you know, you might get three near protocol tokens this month in your staking, right? 
Why are you then saying that that's equal to a couple thousand dollars? You know, it's not true. Well, it is because you're not selling now. You're not selling those tokens out. You're selling those tokens when you sell the rest of your tokens in the bull run, okay? In the, in the true part of the bull run. So yes, you know, we're not accounting that now. It's just like you're looking at your portfolio now and thinking to yourself, well, you know, right now my, my balance is $10,000 and you don't consider the fact that it's obviously going to grow as time progresses. So of course, that is the benefit in this case. You have those two things. You have the benefit of reducing your sell level or of course, just making more money. And it all depends on, of course, where you place your sell level. Depending on where you decide the sell will depend on whether you make more or of course, sell at a lower price, which is safer. And so you can of course, combine these two things I've spoken about today. You can take this dollar cost average, simple math and simple application, plus the staking, and sell significantly lower or simply start buying, continue buying higher. So up to you guys, I would use this information, you know, right now. I would take into consideration, crunch the numbers and let me know down below if it you know, does work out for you. I know I have a few guys that are, you know, asking me 24 seven, like Kyle, what should I be doing? You know, Pith is at this level. I want to buy Pith or Mantis at this level, da, da, da. Likely for most of us, we can keep buying right now. I recently bought a whole bunch more Multiverse X, I'm going to be buying more Pith. I'm going to be buying more Manta because they are now, rather than me having to enter, enter down here, for example, with Pith at 30 cents, I can begin buying 50 cents, maybe even 60 cents. Manta, rather than me trying to look for $2.20 as my 30X entry level, which was likely never going to happen, I can start buying now. Hell, if the price falls lower, right? If we come down here and, you know, the, the the market crashes because the halving then pumps up. I don't care. I'll be continuing buying down here. I'm st I know buying right now, I'm still going to achieve my goal of a 20X. Simple as that. Again, it all comes back to just putting more in the market. So thanks so much, guys. Talk to you all soon. Take good care. Bye.